I'm on the ground in Donna, Texas. If you want to take a look at this facility right here, to your left, that is the Border Patrol tent facility. Stands right behind me. Just a month ago, Customs and Border Patrol agents completed the construction of that facility. It's a 165,000 square foot facility, and we have never seen images inside this facility before. They won't even allow the nonprofit lawyers who conduct the actual oversight of these immigration detention centers to go inside. Nobody has seen photos inside of this place until now. Project Veritas has obtained never before seen photographs of what it actually looks like inside this facility. Shocking images showing people wrapped up in what looks like metal foil, laying on the ground, their faces covered. Why won't the administration be honest about this? Why won't they show you these images? We have a man who's telling us to leave. Where would the press? They told us it's private property, but you know what isn't private property? Airspace. We're going to fly this Cirrus right over the top of the detention center to get a better look. Airspace is not private property, so we're flying a thousand feet. There's the facility right there. You can see it. There it is. We're flying over the facility to give you a good vantage point. There are the tents. You see a bus right over there. Bus is Now, during a recent press conference, the press secretary was asked a question, why they haven't released these images. Even you all haven't released any images that you obviously could, could redact if you wanted to. Again, we, we remain committed to sharing with all of you uh, data on the number of kids crossing uh, the, uh, the... She dodged the question saying, quote... And we remain committed to transparency. I don't have an update for you on the, the timeline. Timeline, end quote. Well... Press Secretary of the White House, let Project Veritas do your job for you. Just last night, we have now obtained these photos inside this facility. Now, these photos are very, very grim. In addition to the photos, Project Veritas has also learned that these were taken, these photographs were taken in the last few days. There are eight pods with eight cells in each facility. At any given moment, there are an average of 3,000 people in custody inside this detention center. Now, the pod has eight cells that are currently holding 600, that's 600 unaccompanied juvenile males aged 7 to 17. They are separated by age or physical size depending on the room. 50 of the individuals inside this facility were COVID positive in these cells. There have been multiple sexual assaults inside this facility, uh, normal assaults, and daily medical emergencies. This border crisis does not appear to be slowing down. In fact, we've just obtained new leaked documents as well from another insider, this one inside the Department of Homeland Security. It says the document was prepared by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Office of Intelligence. It warns of a potential Central American-based caravan coming our way in less than two weeks on March 30th. It says, quote, in the days leading up to March 30th, and should a caravan form, CPB personnel in the region will work closely with and maintain constant communications with CBP, Customs and Border Patrol. Now, every car that drives by is beeping at us. A lot of people giving us the middle finger here. A lot of people are not happy that we are filming or we are recording or asking questions about this facility. Not only did our DHS, that's Department of Homeland Security Insider, leak us these documents, the Insider also secretly recorded in a private DHS Q&A session, Alejandro Mayorkas commenting on what he thinks is happening at the border. And you can hear this quote from Alejandro talking about the new administration making a decision not to expel unaccompanied children. The new administration made a decision not to expel unaccompanied children. And um, uh, we are addressing uh, a significant increase uh, in uh, the encounters uh, with uh, unaccompanied children in between the ports of entry. Here's a Customs and Border Patrol van. These are minors aged 7 to 17 inside the van. He's waving at us right now. The people that are being accompanied in this facility, according to what Project Veritas has learned, uh, between the ages of, of 7 and 17, males, 600 unaccompanied juveniles. As you can see, we're on the corner of South International and Rio Grande Street, uh, just south of Donna, Texas, north of the Mexican border. We were just there. 
uh, at the bridge. We really appreciate the brave insider who worked with us on this story. The public has a right to know that we're going to create an army of whistleblowers and insiders. You can reach out to us at Veritas Tips, that's V-E-R-I-T-A-S Tips at ProtonMail.com. Some extraordinary images here. The uh, security guard is telling us to leave. Pissed. He's so pissed. They know we're here, ladies and gentlemen.